Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another reaction video here on my channel, Sam and is Thank you, you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous creatures out there. And on this reaction video, we're going to be reacting to the craziest upsets in college football. Now, y'all know I'm a big college football fan, I'm a big sports fan, and just around the corner, just now, college football is starting hot, it's hot and heavy, and you know, some of the best things about college football is the huge, massive upsets. When the, the underdog beats the number one massive giant, and the whole crowd goes into the field and destroys it and goes nuts. That's some of the best things about college sports. And especially with college football as well. And you know what, we're gonna watch some of the best upsets in that field as well. With all that being said, let's get into it. Shout out to these guys, the, hi the Highlight Reel. They did some pretty cool, pretty neat videos. Check them out. Here's Cooper, four man oh, Jacksonville, Florida State. Gonna cut it loose. Phil Yaw Johnson mm. caught it. Inside the 10, mm -hmm. Phil Yaw Johnson. This was insane. Because no one State predicted Jacksonville State to beat Florida State. Nobody. Absolutely none. Jacksonville State is kind of like those uh, HBCU schools that On don't get enough final, attention. The and they just Sarah beat Cooper. the dominant more dominant school Girls of Florida to State at that time Johnson. no one saw that coming the Gamecocks have upset the Seminoles yes they did look at the <laughs> they're like oh oh Appalachia State and four in Texas A&M that one was a good one I actually remember watching this game and Appalachia State it's kind of like a deep 1A sort of school and so anytime they beat a school like Texas A&M or Michigan, it's big time. It's big time. How do you step on the 12, kid? Ooh. Doesn't matter. Game over. Like every 10 or 15 years, Appalachia State will beat a Power 5 school. Ran for 57 in the game. Under that, a minute to go. It's about Edwards. 15 years ago, it's yep. Coco they did Hillary the same thing again. to Michigan. Watch the grab, and then he. I might score. No, he's not going to score. Nope, but they're nope. out of timeouts. Michigan at this point, they've got to call a timeout to try to. They need to. Breath. Mountaineers uh, decide to kick the field goal. Maybe a little bit too much time on the clock. We shall see. Julian Roush from 24 yards out. App State. And it's good. In the big house, but 26 seconds left. That's not clock. a lot of time Chad to leave Henning. a team for You've Michigan. Mario Manningham. They call him Super Manningham. And he would get free here. Uh, Mario Manningham. That's a throwback. There's a flag for interference. It's declined because the catch is good. Which means Michigan is going to have this They should have won this game. game they should have been. He especially after that. Seven yards out. And App State, who has fought so bravely are they about to lose david jackson and steve brown the app state radio guys have got the call and the kick is up blocked. and it's blocked oh my god it's blocked i mean if i were them i'll try to take it all the way back too why not ah uh, so close i mean that was a super bowl right there that was a super bowl all time jerry moore gets a ride off the field what a win and number five michigan wow that's big. that's big rolling out hits his man touchdown north carolina north carolina state over clemson yeah i'm assuming this is after the trevor lawrence years probably has tons of time into the end zone Oh, that was a beauty, and that was a game winner. Okay, okay. Yeah, so uh, this is a DJ. Yep. Come on, kid, turn your head around. And the streak is over. They answer the opportunity. This is like when Clemson was coming coming off the down years. Oh, yep, Texas A&M beating Alabama. I mean, any team beating Alabama is pretty big, pretty significant. Let's be real, let's be honest here. Now, this isn't the Johnny Manziel years, but still, any Texas A&M team beating Alabama. Yeah, it's usually the Texas A&M that kind of takes him down. Every now and then, every now and then. Oh, wow, where's the flag? There's the flag, okay. You should be going nuts. 
Ooh, ooh, you see that little, they kind of, they curve and then curve back in? Damn, they, they got lucky. They got lucky. Football's crazy sometimes. Football's crazy. And number one, Alabama. Yep. Number two, Iowa. You know, Purdue every now and then pulls out a big upset. They, they've been known to do that, too. O'Connell, now a Raider. That was a pretty good, uh, that was a pretty throw, not gonna lie. A Spencer Petrus in this ball game. They will run one more play here. Petrus throws high. Oh, through the fingers. And that's a heartbreaker right there. The Purdue Boilermakers knock off number two. Bowling Green. Bowling Green's another one of those lower tier schools that doesn't get a lot of attention on a lot of love. He's back against four man pressure. He's got the Ooh. time he needs. He throws over the middle. And the middle and it's it's interception. 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 Green is going to win in Minnesota. Huge road win for the Bowling Green Falcons. You know, a lot of these schools, when they get able to get these wins, this is like their Super Bowl. It's like their crescendo. Like, ha ha, we did it. We finally showed the world. Another Purdue. Look, look at that score. Look at that score right there. It's insane. Mm -hmm. To the house. Punctuates this upset with a pick six. Boilermakers rush the field. What a night at West Lafayette. It's usually only Purdue can do those things. Kansas State was number one? Oh my god, that's been, that's been so long ago. Oh, no way! 52 to 24, Baylor. Wow, man, that must have been Kansas State number one. That's a long time ago. You know, Pitt's another one of those schools that usually gets a big upset. Oh, is he going to go? Is he going to go to the house? Is he going to the house? Oh, oh he trips him. He trips him. You got lucky, son. He did. Gives him a fresh set of outs. Here's Connor. Turns the corner. Inside the 10, 5, touchdown. 56. You see the field goal target. Throws it. Oh, there he goes. That's the tight end. Gets the full goal range. They're in field goal range for Chris Blewett. They're trying to knock off number two. To do it at their home field, that's, a, that's one thing. Being them, that's big. But doing it at their own home field, that's another thing. It's usually those kind of games that just shakes the foundation of college football. Oh my god, is this the nine overtime game? I think it's the nine overtime game. Eighth overtime, yeah. Oh my god, this was a nine this is a nutty game to go nine overtimes if we have a score like that. And for Illinois to come out on top. Mm-hmm. Montana, Montana, Montana. They're not. They don't usually take down a giant like Washington. They usually don't. They usually schedule them as a cream puff to get them ready. But nope. They say we ain't beating no cream puffs. We're coming in and being them husky boys. What a gutsy performance by Cam Humphrey. Can't stress that enough. Yeah, you cannot stress that enough, my friends. To come into their stadium and shock them. What a moment for him and this Grizzly team. For the first time since 1920, and only the second time in 20 tries, the Grizz upset the Huskies. Here we go. Liberty and Baylor. Ooh. Ooh. Tiptoe. Liberty. How did that happen? The one guy in the building everyone knows it's going to. We all know you're going to him, but you're not even going to cover him. What the hell, man? 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Completely 360. Don't know. Oh, my God. No way. Wow. They're literally going 360, going nowhere, and you still come out with the scoring. Oh. Damn, that's an arm. Oh. Wrong teammate, though. Wrong team. Oh, Dominion. Wow, that's look at that. That is a high school field. That's not college. That's a high school field stadium. Oh, my God. That's a high school. Oh, Dominion. What's who's your boosters? Don't you have enough famous people to donate? Let's go have some better stadium than you. Come on. I mean, hey, take the victory. That is a high school. Oh my God, look at the stands. That is a high school. Oh my God. Why did Virginia Tech go to Old Dominion? What would possess them to do that? Oh, oh, look at them. Look at them go. Look at them go. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Touchdown. Yep. Oh my god, it looks like a high school. I, it looks so weird. There's your exclamation point, yep. There is CSAU conference school? Wow. Yeah. That would make sense. Oregon and Stanford. Ooh, these two always have some good back and forths. We're gonna miss these kind of rivalry games. Now these two teams are going separate ways. Oh, look, here we go. Throws it. Boom. Power and bumbling, bumbling, rumbling, stumbling. There it goes. Incomplete. Damn. Here we go. Look at them boys. TCU. They usually never. It's hardly. They're they're hardly ever underdog. Every other year they have down years. But man, them being in Baylor back then, that was big. Mm hmm. Touchdown! You know, Missouri, when they were in the Big 12, weren't considered underdogs all the time. But then when we moved to the SEC, they've mostly been underdogs. There we go. Oh, Texas AM and LSU. Yep. Look at that boy. He's why you leave him so wide open. Oh, Mississippi State. My bad. My bad, Mississippi State. Different school. Similar colors, different school. There you go. Oh, wow, they're just lit up by the suit that, that game. And they were undefeated that year, huh? I don't know. I don't know if that should be considered upset if they were undefeated. Ooh. Oh, Iowa doing the upsetting. Okay. Nice. That's always good to see. There we go. Look at all those fans. That's the best thing about college sports when the upset happens and the storm the field. Oh my God! He got some height. Oh, he got some hops. Oh, 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 oh. scoop and score, scoop and score. Put an exclamation point on this game. Damn, Washington State. 
Eight and O, oh, number eight that year. Who knew? Damn. You see that beating Florida? That was huge. That was a huge one. This is when UCF was on the rise. Now they're in the Big 12, they will be playing some big boys. Florida should never lose to a school like UCF. Never. But they did. Gasparilla. Oh, God. I swear the names of these bowls. Ooh. Who the hell were you throwing at, bud? That's what happens when you play teams like Eastern Tennessee State and you give them no respect. They take their respect from you. Damn, in 1987? It's always like 20 plus years when they don't play, when they don't beat a Power 5 school. In five years, and that guy knows a thing or two about the SEC. Randy Sanders, longtime offensive coordinator in Knoxville. You didn't hear the announcers are so sad and so stoic. Like, what are you so sad about? I'm so upset. BYU beating Utah, that was, that was big. They always want to always battling out for that state. Mm hmm. Birmingham Young, they finally beat the Utes. Good for them. Good for them. Oh, there he goes. Kentucky. Kentucky's never usually known for their football, mostly for their basketball. So I think them beating Florida like this is pretty big. Oh, broken up. And that's how the game is ended. Oh, well, now you've got a now you kneel, then the game's over. Now it's official. Good for them. Oh, Texas and Arkansas, okay. There we go, there we go. Cut through. Touchdown! The Razorbacks! They're another one that can never now and then pull off a big one. Arkansas thinks Ooh, well, this the past, the present, the future, Storming the field by being number 15. I don't two. think that justifies Play that. Ooh, yeah. I, oh! Oh, wait, I'm looking at a different I'm looking at something else. I thought this was a Stanford one. I like this. I like this. Yeah. 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 What's up? Let's see, baby. Let's go. I represent. Kessler. Cody Kessler, wow. Ooh, Juju, baby. They're going to be very, very good. Another big formation. Crazy off the right And a, another NC State win over Clemson. Excellent execution. Another this is way back in the day. Flanker screen, the pass to Bias Palmer. Like every five or six years, NC State will be the ones to ruin it for Clemson when they're on the run. Uh, Louisville. Why did he lose to Houston, Louisville? Oh! Tip drill, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you practice a tip drill. Jesus, man. That can score in a rub, so they're not out of this game by any stretch. That one was backwards, I think, and they're going to throw it. Oh. Three flicker. That's not flicker. There you go. Yeah, I see. You saw him to feel about being number five. Yeah, I'll say that. Oh, wow. Arizona being Oregon. Wait, that doesn't happen at all often, if ever. Why not? 42, why not? Some bold people started booking their flights to Tucson. <laughs> As we see here, college sports is unpredictable. It's wild. It's, you never know what's going to happen. And once you do know what it is going to happen, you never know what's going to happen at the end. I, I like this. It's really cool seeing this. And what did you guys think? Did you guys enjoy watching these crazy upsets with me? Let me know in the comment section below who's your favorite college football team and what do you guys think is going to happen this season for your team? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to follow me on all my social medias, all my handles will be in the description for you below. And always and forevermore, you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous folks out there. You, yeah, you, beautiful people, you. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And until next time, bye.